Hey guys, what I want to talk to you about today or right now, depending on how you're listening to this, is um, how what assets you actually need to get started. Um, I was going to just write this down as a list for you, but I've realized that it really will make it easier for you if we can talk about how to get this ready. It's one of the things that I have with my clients a lot, and I just want to make sure that... Um, you know, you're ready to go. So some of the most important things you're going to need are your fonts and you're going to need your hex numbers. Now, here's something that is um, you're going to have to look at another video I made, or, which is how to see if your fonts are Google fonts. And um, that's a that's an important piece. Your fonts must be Google fonts. And then your hex numbers. This is actually the code that denotes your color. So I'm going to start in Canva to show you a little bit about how um, how you can kind of get around things. Let's look at it that way. You can do things in a kind of sneaky way. So I have this image and I'm going to use these as my colors. You should mess around and see what you like. I have a lot of different things in here and maybe I love this teal or I love this pink or I love this. You can actually look at um, different things like this where you can, I've kind of started to create a brand kit. You can look at things like this. You can, um, do templates and you can say I'm gonna just look at some templates for anything you just scroll through things and be like wow I love this color combination or I love this color combination or I love this color combination and you can literally click on it and you can say okay I really like these colors that are here and look at this when you highlight them automatically you can see what their hex code is all right so that's one way so if i click on that i've actually copied that hex code and i can go into my brand and i can say if i want that that this is the um that did not copy well that's annoying here we go okay so i copied it paste Okay, and that's the hex code for that color. All right, but there's another way that you can do this. So say, like I said, you already have a design. Maybe you've already been working on something and you want to go back to your designs. You've been working on something, you know you like the color. So for me, for instance, I'll say this one. Okay, I know I like this blue and actually I do. This will be the blue that I use. Um, you can canvas switching things out right now and if you want you can go ahead and open it in the new editor this is a very old image I'm fine doing it this way so I have clicked it so that the main color is highlighted I'm gonna click on that color and then I'm gonna hit the plus button the plus button is gonna open up that color for me and I can just copy and paste that into my brand, which is actually where I have put it already. So that is the my primary color, and I'll just show you. So see, that was my primary color. I copied it. Um, you you need the hashtag, but most of these programs now will auto fill the hashtag if for any reason you don't uh, need that. So. The primary color is going to be like your um, your footer, your header, like anything bold will be in your primary color. But then the accent color is your links and that kind of stuff. I am choosing to um, stick with my theme here. So I am choosing this color. By grabbing this, I have um, my color there. And if I hit the plus sign, I can grab the other color code just like I did with the other one. But as I said, like I could look at this and I can say, look here, so I can add a new page really fast. And I can be like, wow, I love this or I love this. Look at that blue color. That's so pretty. I want to get in on that. So what it did is it actually pulled up my document color. So this is another trick. So you click on here and this document has this color now added to it because you have, this is a two page document now. 
So you go and you click here, you click on document colors, that's the green that we're talking about. And so now I'm gonna hit the plus sign and I'm gonna grab that, okay? So, um, and then if for whatever reason you were like, oh my gosh, I really loved that, uh, you can go back if you're using the, um, the new editor. The old editor has undo, the new editor has like a little arrow there because this is a really cool pattern and you might choose to use that for something too. Canva is a great resource for all kinds of things. I mean, you can find all kinds of nice color combinations. You can find all kinds of great um, text combinations. So that was gonna bring me to my next point. So I'm just gonna add again, and this is, don't do this, because this makes things really difficult, but I'm just doing this to, um, to just you know make things quick. But what we wanna do is, we want to identify the fonts that we like. So for instance, this font, if you think that you like it, because it's actually a really nice looking font, I really like it as far as, I love these A's and these G's, like those are the things that you need to look for. So this font is called Vita Loca, okay? So, um, you know, quickly we can do a real quick search to see if it's available as a Google font. And if it's not, then, um, you know, we're gonna to have to start looking for something else. So if we already know, but look at that. So here it is, Vida Loca is available as a Google font. So this font, if you like it, is a great font to choose. And a lot of people like to use um, a, a combination of a serif and a sans serif. So this is called a serif because it has, um, it has feet. Serif means feet in Latin, and because, um, let me find that for you. So do you see these little flat lines here? Those are considered the feet. So those little flat lines on the end of the M, and then that's they're grounded like pillars. So those are the feet. Now, if you go with something that is a sans serif, that means that it does not have feet. Something like this. This is crushed, which I'm always I've always been a fan of crushed. Um, this is oregano. These don't have feet. So you see what I mean? Like that has that line underneath it that really plants it. Crushed is not. Crushed does not have it, and neither does oregano. So if you look for fonts, if you're going to look for an actual font choice, um, the this is where you really want to be in the new editor, because the new editor makes this really easy. So let's just do this. We're going to open up in the new editor, because here, when you're searching for... Um, new fonts, you have it, you can search this way, you can search by, um, here I'm going to go in here and say I want to add a new font by clicking on here. You can actually search by um, serif or sans serif, so you can say serif fonts and it will only show you serif fonts. So all these little lines you can say I want to send sans serif so that's without for those of you who know french without the serif so then you get all of these you can do a lot of really great searches in um so here look it gives you a little bit of an idea too of different ways if you want to look for things which is really kind of helpful sometimes i mean i love vintage fonts i love them i they're never right for my brand and that's something that's very in, important to think about is you know does it fit your brand so anyway that's how you can find your font and that's how you can find your um, hex numbers so once you have the fonts that you've chosen to be your headings and your text so your text the body text is the um, paragraph and main cr is the I put for our mind crushed, which, you know, I'm going to change that out, but this was just to give you an idea. The paragraph is going to be the body text and the main is going to be um, any of your headers. And, uh, and that's a, a little bit more um, changeable too, once we get there. So this is how you start to create your brand document that is going to have your, um, your, what they call assets, because an asset is something that, um, you own that is part of your building block. So it's not just like you, an asset is your house, but your assets for what you're doing are the different pieces of this um, 
the site. So one of the other things that's going to be part of that is creating the images and the image sizes you need, which we're going to do next.